welcome back to Breakfast this Wednesday morning. Aid projects funded by ordinary Kiwis and the New Zealand government are making a huge difference to the water supply in rural India. Donations to aid agency World Vision are helping revitalise drought-battered farming communities in the district of Ratlam. That's halfway between New Delhi and Mumbai. This report's from Alison Pugh. <laughs> The colours and sounds of the remote Kari village in the district of Ratlam are a world away from the commotion of India's bustling cities. Life in rural India is full of music, dancing, family and festivities. But life in rural India also means an annual battle with drought, affecting livestock, food crops, clean drinking water and the spread of disease. The vast majority of those in the country work the land, but the drought is forcing millions, like Babu, to migrate to the big cities. No owner will give me any jobs now because of all the drought, so we have no choice but to migrate to the city. Babu's family use what little savings they have to take the train to the city for six months every year. His young children unable to attend school. Who will give us admission just like that? And in two years, his youngest son will also join the workforce. The constant movement takes its toll, disrupting both families and communities. Often disease, including HIV, is brought back to the village. They are more prone to H uh, uh, epidemic diseases like HIV and they come back with these kind of infections. But things are looking up. The last few years have seen massive changes in the Ratlam region. World Vision's working with villages to establish new ways of preserving and storing water. Agriculture in Ratlam now looks like this. The enhanced water supply has a ripple effect on the region as a whole. They've installed several large-scale dams, which mean rainwater is accessible year-round. Local villagers all pitching in. It took 60 days to complete the whole work. Uh, the people of this village are very, very cooperative. Man-made ponds like this one are helping increase the water table and helping raise hopes for a brighter future. Now because of the lake, we're able to sow a lot more crops and we get a big harvest, so we can eat better too. New irrigation is turning what was barren land into lush fields, and localised pumps mean women no longer need to walk several kilometres for drinking water. Girish Christian's a local legend. He's worked in communities like this for 25 years and has watched firsthand the difference water has made. Before I make the pond, this well is empty. No single drop water in this well. But after construction of the earthen dam, means pond, the well is recharging automatically. And with more crops and greater output right throughout the year, the local markets are booming. The challenges, though, are complex. Weather patterns are highly unpredictable. Although annual drought has always been a reality for people living in this part of India, it's now climate change that's really disrupting the way people live their lives. Drought seasons tend to last longer. Weather's much more unpredictable. Today you can see it's raining. Yet the wet season should have finished more than a month ago. Because of the uh, global warming and this kind of uh, issues, uh, we see that the rainfall is not regular. So if there is a gap of rainfall, then they can suddenly they can, they can take this uh, water into their uh, fields. And taking that water has meant that Kiwi-sponsored 16-year-old Muna can return to school in a more stable life. His family used to only grow soya beans. Now they've diversified into chilies and tomatoes. It means he can live here full time. Now I'm happy that I'm able to go to school regularly. The enhanced water infrastructure enables many families here in Ratlam to be self-sustainable. But the sheer size of India's countryside and its 1.2 billion people means the New Zealand contribution to Ratlam's water supply is but a drop in the bucket. We dream of a time that we can stay here all year. 
but what can we do? And millions, like Babu, still have to go elsewhere just to survive. Tomorrow, Alison visits a remote Indian village to see how it's been transformed with the donations of just one Wellington family. If you'd also like to help the children in these rural communities, you could sign up for a sponsorship or even buy one as a gift for Christmas. Just contact World Vision on 0800 800 776 or www.worldvision.org.nz.